You have an update right now on breaking news from Detroit's west side where two firefighters were hurt on the scene of a house fire. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is there alive. So Brian, now how are those firefighters doing? Uh, they're going to be okay. First and foremost, first, second degree burns. So burns that are recoverable to the neck area as well as to the arm. I want to show you what they were fighting, battling here on the city's west side. Here is the house that they were called to around 430 this morning, corner of Van Buren and Minock. Uh, the initial reports that firefighters received was that there was somebody trapped inside the house. So at least three firefighters went inside to go try to find that individual. The conditions inside the home changed at some point and those firefighters had to evacuate outside of the house rather quickly. At least one of those firefighters went out through one of these two front windows you see here, most likely the right one because we don't see any of those supportive arms in there. And then two of the firefighters had to go out on the side. Now, two of those three firefighters did have to get transported to the hospital with those minor burns that you were talking about. At least that's what fire officials are calling it, are minor first and second degree, degree burns to the neck, shoulder area. There was nobody inside the home, it turns out. Now, you see this vehicle here, this truck right here. This is a arson squad investigator vehicle. He is on scene trying to figure out, piece together exactly what happened here, where the origin of this fire was, if it was suspicious in nature or not. We've also seen some investigators knocking on neighbors' doors here in the neighborhood to see if they can give any information to those investigators to help them in their investigation. But for now, what we're seeing, two firefighters have been injured, taken to the hospital for minor burns at this point here on the Detroit's west side. For now, reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Well, we certainly hope those two firefighters recover quickly. Thank you for that live update, Brian.